Living True Channel, today's episode, we're just going to be getting into a, a video about fake foods. This is part two. If you guys haven't checked out part one, you guys check it out. If you have been in tune with me and the Living True Channel, you guys know I put out part one about a month or two ago. But this is part two, you guys. This is an absolute prime example of why we should always bless our food. I know sometimes we be hungry, just want to bite into the food, but it's so important, so, so detrimental to bless your food these days. And this is a prime example why we should do that. And now it's getting even worse with the GMOs. The food is just getting crazy. There's so many problems wrong with that, you guys. You know, the government takes all of our food that God gives us for free, all our food and our water, they put it into a big building, as in Walmart, Food Line, Food Mart, Food City, stores like that. They take all our food and water, and they put it into these buildings, and they sell it back to us. That's the first thing wrong with this. Not only that, nowadays, you guys, they're poisoning us. Poisoning us. That's why I always said we can never underestimate our opposition, our oppressor, our opponent our enemy which is satan you guys they got their their hands into everything that's possible if you guys not been in tune you guys know i put part one fake foods depopulation part one this is part two if you haven't checked it out once this video is over you guys go check out part one and i love you guys i pray that you guys are having a blessed memorial day in Jesus' name. But I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. If you haven't checked out our video from yesterday, you guys go check it out. To get these messages out there, you guys, the more likes it get, the more the video will prom be promoted. So, let's get into this video, you guys. This is a prime example of why we should bless our food and give thanks to the almighty God, the most high, the true living God. For everything we do and everything we eat is so important, you guys. But with no further ado, you guys, you guys taking these videos and always remember, Jesus is coming back. Every day that goes by, that's one day closer to the king's return for the rapture. So always repent and give God the glory. Let's get into it, you guys. Oh, yeah. One last thing. To all my old subscribers and my new subscribers, if you guys haven't checked out my newest song, it's called God Got It. Amazing song I put together, all for the glory of God. If you guys haven't checked it out, you guys check it out. Hit the like button. Let's get into it. So for the new year, I decided to take a look at something on Facebook and it really disturbed me, right? So I didn't think it was real. Check this out. This is Kraft American Cheese right now this is ridiculous this is absolutely ridiculous i grew up eating this a lot of other people grew up eating this i'm gonna show you what happens when you burn craft american cheese it's supposed to melt like every other cheese right listen to that this is plastic this is ridiculous. Every other cheese melt. I didn't believe this until I went to my fridge and got this cheese or cheese product. And literally, I'm burning this and it's not melting. You hear that? And it smells like burnt plastic. Yeah. Are you kidding me? You're literally eating plastic. Educate yourself. Take a picture. I don't know. Shit. You tell me. Look. I look like chicken. Come on. Come on. Look at that. What they sold me. I look like chicken. They said it was fresh. It ain't chicken. That's what I'm saying. You know them Chinese and them cooked dog. 
You don't know Rasta. I'm telling everybody, these people are wicked. They're not selling chicken. They sell you food they don't eat. How you accept that? They're wicked. Hey guys. So today I found out that your lettuce, in fact, it is true, it is plastic what you're eating. We tested it this way. So we put water to heat up in the microwave to make sure the water was really hot. I'm gonna take two leaves of lettuce and put it inside the water. We put three. And look at this. That is hot water. You notice, it's very hot. The leaves, they're still green. Still green. And this is burning water. Give it about a few seconds and you'll see that it does not change color at all. It doesn't get soggy like we normally see. So let's take this one at the bottom that has been here maybe a few seconds more and I'm gonna show you while you're eating. And I bought this at Publix, by the way. So it doesn't matter where you buy these, expensive stores, Walmart, Aldi's, Publix, you're getting the same thing. If you get close, and you peel from the from the bottom this is what you're eating that is plastic guys you keep peeling not just with one it's sad because i didn't believe it until my mother-in-law called me look at how crunchy that is how can this be crunchy when you have it in hot water? It's been there for about a minute, two minutes, I would say. And you're eating plastic. I wonder what's next. So show this video and actually try it yourself and you'll see that what we're eating is just crap. Guys, pay attention to what you serve your children because that's why a lot of people are coming up with cancer and we don't even know how. Look, plastic. Plastic, okay? Thank you. Please share this video. I flipped the camera. Right there. Yeah, that's right. Is it, is it yeah. All right, everybody. So I'm up. I'm cooking my Sunday dinner for my kids. We were about to make some fried rice. I got all my meats, my vegetables, and I bought this rice. This is Iberia rice, Iberia jasmine rice. It's sold at um, most Caribbean outlets. So as I'm cooking the rice in my rice cooker, usually it takes about 15 minutes and my rice is perfectly cooked. So I'm cooking the rice and the grains are not cooking. The grains are hard, extremely hard. So, you know, I put a, add a little more water to try and get them to, you know, put it back for about 10 minutes and came back. The grains are still not cooking. So I'm standing here with my son and I took some of the rice You can see here it is. As I'm doing this to the rice, it's it's literally sticking to my hands, sticking to my hands. It balls up very easily, and it, it's sticking. It's literally sticking to my hands. Okay, so we just did this. Here's another one that we just made, and it bounces like a freaking ball. Okay? This is the rice that I was about to make fried rice to feed to my kids. Okay? If this ain't plastic, I don't know what the hell is. 
<laughs> this thing is bouncing like a freaking ball. Oh my goodness. Look, it's it bounces. We it bounces. So um I just bought this bag of rice. I'm a little pissed. Um I'm ready to bring it back. But for anyone who buys Iberia rice or any other kind of rice, I live in Orlando, Florida. If you're buying any of these rice, and when I washed this rice, it did not float to the top. So I thought I was good. I thought I was safe. But it won't cook. Okay? The rice will not freaking cook. We can go outside and play freaking catch with the damn rice. Food and Drug Administration, y'all gotta do better. She said, this worry about it. Bullshit. This is bullshit. The fact that I'm cooking to feed my kids. And it's this plastic shit that the Food and Drug Administration is allowing to end up on the shelves of our supermarkets. So we're literally paying to freaking kill ourselves. This is bullshit. Y'all gotta do better. Y'all got to do a freaking better job at what you're approving to end up on the shelves. And, and I'm, I'm paying my hard earned dollars for this shit. This is bullshit. Okay? I didn't steal it. I didn't get it off the welfare line. I bought it. It's plastic. It is freaking plastic. Rice don't do that. Okay? Rice doesn't, rice is not supposed to do that. This is bullshit. I bought this at, um, uh, it's a Car Caribbean Super Center. There, there's a store called Caribbean Super Center. I figured I'd be safe shopping there, but clearly I'm not. Okay? I'm, I'm just about to go start eating the freaking grass that's outside my backyard and call it a day because this ain't right. Put this egg because the one which I put first already it was a plastic I think so so I'm going to try the second one and I want to see what's going to happen so let us see what is going to happen in a minute I don't know whether it's real or not but the first one which I put it was really a plastic one you could have seen this you all could have seen this this is a plastic this was there in the flame for more than 15 minutes and it was just like this nothing is happening so let us wait and see here look at this this is gonna start because this is a product of Lulu Lulu fresh eggs and I saw uh, some of the eggs shape was different and that I was testing that different shaped eggs and I'm sure this is not the pure one <laughs> this is the artificial eggs so please everybody be careful see this this started okay so please have cabbage cabbage that is used for coleslaw that is used for cooking bought in brooklyn an experiment or is it food modification this is where we are today natural cabbage just bought yesterday i'm gonna hot it and put it directly over the flame over the flame nothing next side over the flame nothing I'm gonna put it again my fingers getting burned for the cabbage in here nothing cabbage still green no burn over direct flame no burn now look at what it is when you stretch it now it's like plastic plastic like 
call it shining. But plastic. This is the cabbage. Burned cabbage over a hot flame. Didn't even budge. So imagine what it is doing in our stomach our intestines all our vital organs look nothing look you can see it shining there like plastic i'm stretching it look, look. be careful when the foods you eat take notice take warning bye yeah this this fish this is a plastic fish that we bought from uh from the shop Africa shop in London so we bought it for 10 pounds just imagine what it is now you see it's a plastic fish you know when we are pressing it it will be coming out water will be coming out like foam so this is a foam it's not fish just look at just look at you can see it do you see? Do you see a plastic fish? Do you see a plastic fish? Yeah. Do you see a plastic fish? You see? You see? Please, uh, I would like you to send it to any contact you have as I'm sending it to you. Make sure whatever you buy to eat Check it very well before you use it to cook. If we have not seen this thing, I will start cooking it and you put it and start eating it. Who knows what would have been in our stomach. So imagine if you eat a plastic in your stomach, what will be? Please, these people that are selling deadly things to the whole world now to keep people. May the Lord God judge them by fire and by thunder. Whatever they prepare to kill the world, to destroy people in the world, they will eat it themselves. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, YouTube, um, this is um, crazy right here. I went to the Magic Walk and got some food, and I'm going to show you guys in a second exactly what showed up in my food. Um, this is the actual package here. This is the um, bag it came in. Um, I just bought this today. Uh, was over at Kinko's, uh, made uh, some copies. I said, well, let me go get something to eat. So now let's check it out in here. So this is the food right here. Uh, you can see here. Um, let's zoom into it. See that there? I just basically put the fork in there. But can anybody in here point out anything right now in this food right here? See, I threw the fork in there. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm kind of sick. I'm wheezing. Uh, I don't feel too good. But here, look, let's see what was in here. If you couldn't figure it out, I'll point it out in the picture for you, okay? So we'll get this here, and let's go to this little piece right here. See this piece of chicken right here? Let's take this here, okay? Look. See that there? Okay, that's a piece of chicken there. Okay, and we lay it over here like that. It's all one piece, okay? So now, let's zoom in on it here, okay? Oh my God, do you guys see that right there? Let's turn it around here like this for you guys here, okay? All right, let's turn it around. Okay, now I got the camera in this hand right here, look. Look, look at this here. Watch this here, see? This here is a tail. You see that there? That's a tail. That's not a piece of chicken right there. And that's not, uh, look at the, how the meat looks right here. So, look, look. This camera's kind of come out of focus here. Let's get back in focus here. There I go right there. See that? Okay, look, let's zoom around on it. Look. You see that? That right there is a tail on the chicken here. Let's take it from this side here. Let's see if I can zoom in on it there. Get in here. See that there? That's the tail right there. Look at that. Um, that right there is what I found out. This is what was in my food. I know the camera's everywhere. I'm shaking. Okay, so look. Here we go right here. See? This was in my food right here. 
uh, when I try, I was gonna take a bite, took a little bite off of it, and um, look how the meat looks here. See, it looks weird anyway. Look, this meat here is it's weird looking, uh huh. But that right there, it's a baby rat, okay? A little one. And um, I'll show you a picture on YouTube how these little rat tails look and stuff. See? Yeah, so. Uh, be careful everybody when you go to these places here if you get something and the tail is still on it uh, Maybe take it back, huh? Millions of people suffer from food related illnesses each year the CDC estimates that out of 48 million cases 38 million people didn't know what they ate that made them sick USA Today Shout out to my lemon true family Love you guys. To God be the glory. He died for me, so I thank him. The devil ain't on me, I shake him. The lion and the lamb is the great one. For Jesus, yes, I'll take one. Oh, I thank him. Oh, I thank him. Oh, I thank him. Oh, I thank him. Oh, I thank him.